Hi guys, Google One back and I'm going to show you some games on the Nvidia Shield. Okay, now, first up, I'm going to show you is Nova 3. This is not specifically an optimized uh, Nvidia Shield game, but it does have controller functionality, as in, you know, there was a Game Loft controller. They actually released one themselves that cost a ridiculous amount of money. But it, it meant that you could use it on certain other newer games like Nova 3 and I think it was Modern Combat 3, maybe 4, that type of thing. Uh, it worked on iOS, but um, Android seemed to have taken the handheld controller market and gone with it a little bit more than Apple. Although Apple are saying that they're going to allow controller support for a lot of games or some of the games with the new operating system of iOS 7 which is coming in autumn so that will be something to look forward to um, when that does come out I don't know how well something like the Nvidia Shield would do against it um, but we'll, we will see it's too early to tell so far but let's have a look let's start up the game ooh look at my head now there are several games that aren't in the Nvidia Shield list that do work with the Nvidia Shield but they're few and far between there are some games that are in a, an extra list that they've done that they know are compatible with Nvidia Shield you can download them and play them but then there are quite a few other games that just just won't work at all um, I mentioned in a previous video um, I played Raven Sword Shadowlands and on the Nvidia Shield and it's, it says when you load it up that it detects a controller but it, as soon as you click yes use the controller it then freezes and doesn't load it doesn't seem to be able to link with the uh, controller of the Nvidia Shield but if you then choose no controller support it will load up fine on the Nvidia Shield but you have to then use touchscreen functionality um, which isn't very practical with this thing. You can flip the lid as far back as you can and then hold it like this. And it might help you a little bit, but not always. Touch OK to start. The problem I've got with a lot of the uh, Shield games is that even though some of them say that they're optimised, they're still touch. you still have to touch the screen sometimes. Hello me. But I don't really see why you shouldn't be able to use a d-pad to navigate everything or twin stick functionality to navigate everything without the issue touch the screen choose campaign I pressed A there and it worked I can choose homecoming now I did the setting so that when you press the volume button you can use the shoulder pads to load up the, the noble screen. rebels still struggle for human independence right I've got to talk loud now because this is loud it's not even full volume walk away. Well, that was we received an urgent distress signal from an old friend, beckoning him to the ruins of old San Francisco. I can actually feel this vibrating in my hand, Earth. and I have to speak up a little louder so that this picks it up. So I'll turn that back down because otherwise you won't hear me talking. But let's go anyway. I pressed A, and it seemed to work very well. Left stick. And right stick work fine. See? Ooh, what was that? What the hell was that? A psyker and it's playing with us. Save your ammo. You're gonna need it. You heard the commander. Check your targets and keep your eyes open. Let's move. And you can do zoom in. This unfortunately uses the left and right bumper buttons as opposed to the trigger buttons, which is a little bit awkward if you're not used to it. B to reload or X to reload. Apologies for the shoddy gaming, but uh, you know I'm a shit player. Doesn't mean I don't enjoy playing. I'm just shit. Here. No delay there for the zoom in. Like I said, this isn't optimized for Nvidia Shield, but it does seem to work fairly reasonably. Now Nova 3 is actually like a similar Halo game. Although Gameloft have been moving away from their sort of rip-off reputation and started to uh, 
just bring out a little bit more quality in there, I think. And they they have actually been given some licenses and you know achieved some licenses for you know games like Batman and Dark Knight. And, yeah, bad boy. And to be fair, this is still better than any of the flipping first-person shooters you can get on Vita, which isn't that many, if any, really. Runs quite smoothly. See that? There's some really nice lighting effects in here. Look, if you look up, when I look up at the screen, there's some blotching on my screen. Oh, I'm getting shot for shit here. And I died because I was too busy trying to show you off the screen as opposed to. So that's your fault. I'm blaming you for that. Um, I'm totally kick ass and it's all your fault, guys. But like I said, you do the left button and the right button. And, uh, you know, a five inch screen is, you know, big enough. I mean, this, one of the, one of the rants, and I'm going to rant a little bit, sorry guys, this is my soapbox now, is I don't understand, I couldn't understand why Gameloft didn't port these first person shooters like Modern Combat and Nova 3 to the Vita. Oh, just run into electrical cable. Because, you know, the, these are some great little filler games. when compared when, when you're waiting for some decent first person shooters I remember they brought out the uh, Call of Duty game Black Ops Declassified on the Vita and that was just fucking poor there are many people who like that game the reviewers ripped it apart I bought it on day one even though I should have been cautious and wary because there was an embargo on the game when it first came out, but I really, really, you know, Call of Duty is a, it's a great little shooter, especially if you've got multiplayer, there's nothing, there's nothing really that brings out that experience any closer, all the electrical cables stay away from them, you see how smooth this is running, it's absolutely smooth as anything, I don't know if you can tell on the video, and I apologise for any darkness, but this is a dark level, to be fair, you know, it's in a poorly lit car park but there's like glowing lights here look you can see all the blotching on the screen from my visor let's move over here the flashing lights are not working come over here there's little electrical effects buzzing around the cable swing you know this is it's a fairly nice little game and it runs so smooth so I'm going to leave it there for this game at the moment, but you can get it to work on the Nvidia Shield Nova 3, but just you have to um, disable the mouse cursor option in your settings, simply because if you don't, this thumbstick here gets confused between being the look functionality in the game and also being the mouse cursor. So once in a blue moon, as you're looking around, it will stop and then just the mouse cursor will start moving across the screen because it doesn't really know what to do. So if you disable that before you um, download and install Nova 3, it should be fine. Um, I've got no complaints with it. It's still a way better shooter than any of the uh, stuff you can get on a Vita. So, you know, I'd recommend having a go on that and downloading it. It's not too expensive either. It's less than a fiver. So, you know, you get an NVIDIA Shield, you get Nova 3. No problem. Thanks a lot. Thanks for listening. Bye.